And we're live! Welcome, everyone! <laughs> yeah, it's early morning. Uh, my name is Pelly. I'm an engineer here at, uh, in Microsoft Research and working from home right now. And we're going to be doing a microbit, MakeCode microbit video with my assistant, Emil. Hello. Emil, grab the mouse. Yeah. Emil didn't get his coffee this morning. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, so uh, welcome to the series uh, about uh, learning to code uh, with the microbit. If you're, um, it's the first time coming in, this is an interactive live stream. So uh, what you want to do is right click on the, uh, on the video, then right click a second time, then click picture in picture. There's a, there's a video attached to the YouTube page that, that shows exactly how to do that. And once you have the picture in picture, open a new tab and go to, uh, can you highlight? Uh, oh, I don't have the tool, hold on. Makecode.microbit.org. Make Again, the link is in the YouTube, so just click that. Uh, make sure it's in a different tab so that you keep the video. If you wanna go back to the previous streams, we've actually added those onto the home screen. So if you scroll down in Microbit, Emil. Yeah. Uh, scroll down the screen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, so what you want to do is go to makecode.microbit.org. See it there? Oops. Wrong window. Okay. Um, all right, so you should have two tabs. Uh, the video should be running, and you can follow us all along. We want you to participate and, and do the coding as we're doing it. So scroll down a bit, Emil, and we can show a new row. Uh, we've got all the videos about live coding here, the playlist, all the previous videos, and also a link if you scroll to the left, the category. You'll see there's a link to the next stream. So every day we're going to update that, and you can subscribe and get ready for it. Okay, so today we're doing... What are we doing? Love meter. Love meter! So we've done the dice yesterday. And we're going to be doing love meter. Let's click on that. Is the mic is the micro bit is feeling the love? I don't think that's proper grammar. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and fix that. Uh, maybe we'll do a live stream about how to if. fix. I think it's if. The <laughs> <laughs> oh well it's early for everybody all right let's do the tutorial and and see you i think we're going to learn something another way to use the micro bit let's go and do that uh so as usual we're going to have instructions we're going to follow them uh and we even gonna read them let's go back emil i thought we'd do this and then that's the hint when we need it oh okay I let's go back let's see step number one i want to see what we're doing oh, make a love okay, meter that's... how sweet the microbit is feeling the love, and sometimes not so much. Tell everyone who you are, and show your name on the LEDs. It's kind of like a name tag, right? All right, let's try it. Let's build a love meter machine. Place an on-pin press block to run code when pin zero is pressed. Use P zero from the list of pins. Oh, that's a new block. Yeah. Let's hide the, the hint. Uh, and then maybe let's get rid of looks like we're not going to use on start so let's uh, take those out and zoom in a bit okay all right let's see uh, so it's pink right so it's it's an input, input. yeah on pin zero pin press so what is P zero um, uh, it's a pin it's a pin. Isn't there three pins on the micro bit? Yeah, we actually, we call them P0, P1, P2. You can see they're called on the hardware, it's 0, 1, 2. If we, if we switch to the hardware, Zeli, can you bring the cam, the micro bit close to the camera? As close as you can, higher, higher, higher. And remove your thumb here. Okay, so you see that right here, that's pin zero. And we call it P0. Uh, and it is a pin. That means it's, it's a little metal plate. And that metal plate is connected to the uh, brain of the microbit. 
All right. Let's. Um, and we can see it on the simulator too. Yeah. Once you once you drag the block in, you'll see a number on it. Um, okay. Let's go back to let's go back to the video. All right. Custom. Can show number and pick random. Using show number and pick random blocks, show a random number from 0 to 100 when pin 0 is pressed. Uh, okay, let's try to do it without the hint. I can do that. Uh, so let's see, show number, we've done that before. We used it, I think, for the dice. Uh, yes, and then pick random, we also use it for a dice. And it's telling us, and so again, so show numbers, I'm going to show a number on the screen. And yeah. pick random is going to pick so I just an integer number. It's like a big dice. Put this in there. And then drop it in. Yeah. It'll it like to drop our Now, dialogue. how are we going to test this? Let's see if we can click on the... Yeah. And click here. Oh, yeah, it 21. works. You can test it. 47. Yeah. Ooh, really bad. <laughs> bad. Much hate right there. Um, 77, okay. Yeah. 89. 89. Mm. All right, let's see. See what's the next step. Is. 92. Actually, uh, let's try it on the hardware. So how about you go and do the download procedure. So click on download. Uh, connect your micro bit using the micro USB cable. We're connected. Okay. Right click. Save link as and save in the microbit drive and on the microbit side the light is blinking yeah you see we have uh, we have fruits today and we'll show you why where we're doing that okay so Zili I want you to put a finger on the pin on the right that's called GND GND yes and then now you're gonna put a finger on the on zero and release it just like it was a button. No, you have to keep the other finger. So release it. Just press it like it's a button. Aha, try again. Aha, so that's what it means by on pin pressed. Mm -hmm. It acts like a button. And we say it's a resistive button because it, doesn't it uses the electricity goes through your body. And when you put your finger, you close the circuit. And then we measure that. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going in our instructions. Click on pin zero in the simulator okay. and see what, which number is chosen. So we, we've done we that. We did that, and we did it on the hardware. Show love meter on the screen when the micro bit starts. OK. Yeah. Uh, so we do need the on start. Looks like we do need it, but it's fine because we can grab, yeah, we can grab, grab one here. Can we draw? And we're gonna draw. And we're gonna oh, say yeah. love meter, yeah. So strange. Love meter. Let's see what it looks like. So I. Oh, yeah. Personally, I like the capital letter. I yeah. think they, they read better. You might want to switch to that. You could do a heart, you know, uh, a heart. three greater. Or I could do. Or we could do, or maybe we do, uh, let's, oh no, we don't have show LEDs here. Wait, let's, oh, let's keep it like that. It's fine. Mm, where's that button? I'm not sure we have all the characters. In this keyboard? Uh, to do what? Hmm. Parenthesis? Yeah. Here. Zero. Shift. Oh, yeah. That's... I think you want to do three. Isn't the heart lower three? Yeah. The side oh, yeah. heart. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, interestingly, uh, because the micro bit <coughs> has so little memory, we don't actually have. We do have this character. This is great. So, but we don't have all the letters uh, that you would draw on like a regular PC. Let's see. I want to see it. Oh yeah. Wait. Um. Oh, on start. You know what? Let me let me move a bit. Give me the mouse. I'm gonna move the camera a bit. Let's 
move out of the way here. All right, I'm back. <coughs> okay, so let's download it again. Actually, what is the next step? Yeah, download, yeah. let's go. So we're gonna show you, uh, we're gonna download it and we're gonna show you a few ways uh, you can use on pin pressed. Um, and it's really a great way to actually build buttons out of pretty much anything. All right, and switching to our camera here. It's a love meter. Let's keep it uh, straight in the center. There we go. And let's test it again. So what you want to do is put your finger on ground and then, then you touch it. Now, here's what I'm going to do with Zeli. I'm going to hold Zeli's hand and we're going to do the love meter test. <laughs> so put your finger on ground. No, the other way. The other one. And so we're holding hands. 35? Yeah. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is super fun. Um, Plug in your micro bit with a, with a battery and then you can walk around the house and test uh, if people like you or not. Just hold their hands. Um, you know, if we're, let's actually show it here. Let's bring the micro bit here. So I'm gonna hold ground. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold Emil's hand. Try again. Just touch it. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it got unplugged. Okay, yeah. let's try again. <laughs> it's finicky. Maybe I don't hold it right. Let's try no, again. I can hold it. You don't sweat enough, but yeah! And our score is, oh, we missed it. <laughs> missed it. Okay, so the hand is a bit, I can the hold hand it. is a bit uh, tricky to I do. And so here's, here's a better way to do that. Um, if you happen to have, uh, Ziggy, can you show the Crocodile. crocodile clips? So if you happen to have uh, crocodile clips. clips, and they're also called clips. Gator, uh, gator clips, depending on how you see, depending on which part of the world you live. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach one on the ground pin and one on the zero pin. So Zilli is gonna go and attach that there. They can be a bit hard to attach. And let me show you uh, a really good way to attach them is to go straight through the hole. Let me show, so hold on. See how, if you do it like this, uh, it tends to move and then it kind of does shorts. It's not as good. So if you really want to attach it well, just grab like that. And put it straight down. Straight down. And we're gonna do the second crop clip. It takes a little bit of practice All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna secure them, there we go. Um, and then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them to fruits. Because fruits are, are nicely fruits conductive. fruits love each other? Yeah, no, they're gonna be kind of our joysticks. Oh yeah. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna be doing that. All right, fruit one. I really need to add a camera here. What's going on? There we go, we're back. <laughs> All right. You got it, Zilli? Yeah. All right, so now we can do the love meter. You grab, grab that one. Actually, let's, let's get them in the view. And let's make this one aligned. Okay, so, so now you have two fruits. Um, Zilli's gonna show it, so grab a fruit. So you wanna pick one. Or grab the, the ground one. And now you're just gonna touch the other one. Smack it. Smack it. Yeah, you kinda have to give it a good touch. Ah, don't 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 look with your head. So you have always to hold one in firmly to your head. Oh, I did it. 
And there you go. 39. All right. 39. David says 39. Okay. 39. 39. It's super fun. Uh, and you can actually... So what we're going to do is... Okay, let's make it more exciting. Okay. Um, 90. 90. Let's see if we're done actually with the tutorial. Let's go back to that. Um, so if you have crocodile clips and if you have um, fruit, fruits, Any fruit? uh, bananas work too, mangoes, uh, avocados, uh -huh. lemons. Yeah, but you're gonna have to eat it afterwards. So uh, <laughs> lemons. <gasps> you can try which one works the best. Um, all right, let's finish this tutorial. I think we're missing a cable. I need one more cable. Daddy, what does this pack So let's, uh, the other thing, oh, oh, what are you doing, Emil? <laughs> um, so there's three pins on the micro bit, and you can use the three of them to do buttons. So. Can we do a smiley face? Okay, let's, uh, let's try to do a smiley face when we press uh, pin one. Let's try to do that. Draw one. Or it could be depending on the number you get to smile face or sad face. That's an excellent idea too. So let's do that. Um, so right now we're showing the number, but it's kind of okay, but not so great. So we want to turn this love meter into... Ca to we have to do the if true. We have to do the if. So if you remember the, um, the dice app, the first thing we need to do is uh, to store, we're going to want to store this this score into a variable. Yep. Variables, make and a variable. Yeah, wait a minute. What's it going to be? Love meter? Uh, maybe no. a score? Or? Um, Love meter oh, wait. score? Maybe love get out of yeah. capital. Call it love. Love score? Yeah, I know, I did that. Love score. score, yeah. Yeah, okay, so uh, instead of showing it directly, what we're going to do is store it. So I'm going to save that using set, yes. Right here. Yeah, well, yeah. Probably want to do that first. So what you want to do is store the random number into that love score variable. So right now, I'm not sure you're doing it because what you're doing is storing zero in the love score. So, 0 to 100. Okay, let's do that. And then we get, pick, uh, random. There you go. All right, and you want to go to 100. Whoops. Okay, so, uh, again, what is a variable? It's kind of a piece of memory on your computer. It's like a drawer, and you can store numbers into the drawer and then you can also read what's inside of the drawer uh, so so what's happening now is we've stored this random number and now we're going to want to show different images based on the score so do we still need show number there's two uh, one hundred some two yeah one. Mm. actually no because we already have one yeah here. let's get rid of it we're just going to show images also let's get rid of on start because it's a bit annoying after a while. Okay, so do you, if you're watching, do you remember how we did it yesterday? How did we decide to, ch how did we Oops. choose to show different, um, different LEDs based on the value of the number? We did so true or false or else. Yeah, we did things like that. There was some ifs, some else's, some then, so where would that be? Logic. Logic, okay. 